Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 96 with me Craig Barton. Now this year on the Resource of the Week series every fourth Resource of the Week will be a premium resource. That's a resource that has been created by a maths teacher in the classroom and is for sale on the TES marketplace. Now this week's premium resource is an absolute classic. I think the name will be familiar to most people who use TES regularly, Ben Cooper, as will this Mega Maths PowerPoint, but this is version three, a wonderful upgrade to version one and version two, which have been some of the most highly downloaded math resources we've ever had on the website and they're absolutely phenomenal. Well, Ben is back with version three and it's for sale on the TES Maths Marketplace. I paid three pounds for it and it is probably the best three pounds I have ever spent in my life because this is wonderful wonderful stuff. It is a single PowerPoint, but you are getting your value for money here because look at that, it's 50 megabytes worth of PowerPoint there. So let's have a look at it because as I say, I've, I've paid for this out of my own money, downloaded it, and now it is an essential part of my teaching. Um, just like all the uh, the previous two Mega Maths PowerPoints, um, there's loads of topics covered, but there are more than ever here. Hopefully you can just about see this on, on the video screen. So it's beautifully organized here. So let's have a look. Um, I, I have this with my year 11 class who are ropey on a number of topics. So let's just fire up algebra. And one thing they are particularly uh, dodgy at at the moment um, are straight line graphs. So let's have a look what's, what's in store for us here. Coordinates and equations of lines. Look for a start. Look at all the different options you've got here. Y equals mx plus c, finding the equation of a line and so on. Well, we were looking at finding the gradient the other day. And then you just get a load to this. Find the gradient between these two points. Find the gradient between these two points and so on. And I know what you're thinking. Do you have answers? Well, yeah, of course you do. With this Ben Cooper's wonderful PowerPoint, there are your answers there. So um, well, let's just show you one more example and then we'll talk about how we might use it. So it's dead easy to navigate around. Let's go for a bit of shape. Uh, let's go for trig. Oh, we are dodgy at trig at the moment as well. Uh, some classic sine, cos and tan. Bang that up on the board. Uh, find the lengths marked X. And, um, and once again... There are your answers. Good to go there with that particular one. So how might you use this in the classroom? Well, what we do um, in our school is we have this for our year 11s. Um, and at the moment, we've kind of abandoned the scheme of work for year 11s because we're trying to find out different gaps that they have in their knowledge. And we do that by using diagnostic questions, essential skills, quizzes. We set one of those every single week. That tends to reveal a major misconception and different classes tend to have different misconceptions. And then we cover that um, in the classroom. And this is a really nice way to do that. Um, because it's just questions just there, just, just kind of ready to be used. You don't have to dig around to find them, just project them up on the board. Students can work through at their own pace and then, uh, then you can get these marked as well. So it's just perfect for that. Uh, ben, on his uh, description of this, describes this as perfect for an emergency re-rooming lesson, and I can definitely relate to that. Or, where have my textbooks gone lesson? Or, oh uh, my gosh, I can't believe they've forgotten this lesson. It's that latter one that I'm using this loads with. I'll do a quick starter on adding fractions or something, thinking it's going to take me 30 seconds. All of a sudden, kids will claim that they've never seen a fraction before in their life, so I quickly need some questions up my sleeve uh, on that particular topic, and I can always find them in this PowerPoint. There's two 253 slides worth of stuff here absolutely wonderful stuff and as I say I paid three pounds for this and that if my maths is right which often it isn't I reckon that's just over a penny a slide which I think is pretty good value for money so however you decide to use this whether you decide to print these off as worksheets whether you decide to have these just as as revision in the classroom whether it's independent revision for students um, in a computer room however you choose to use these whether it's cover work whether it's just emergency work, whatever, I think everybody can find some use from this. It covers all topics uh, that I can certainly find for GCSE, both foundation and higher, and there are answers provided with every single one. It's just hours and hours and hours of practice. So there it is. Ben Cooper, he's back with version three. Will there be a version four? I certainly hope so. Um, I hope you found it useful. I hope you think it's something that's worthy of a purchase. And also, if you do snap it up and use it, please leave Ben a review because um, it's... Ben has obviously put many, many, many hours into that, and I know certainly from my resources, it's it, it just kind of makes it all worthwhile when teachers say that they've used it and they've enjoyed it and it's gone down well in lesson. So I hope you found that useful, and I will be back with a free resource of the week uh, next week as we build up to the hundredth resource of the week in this in this series, this never-ending series. But I'll try and dig out a classic for that. So take care of yourselves in the meantime, and see you next week.